I know for a fact that you, Hayley Jones, <laughs> you've got something that you can't live without, haven't you? You've got a smelly old Bon Jovi T-shirt, haven't you? <laughs> yes. Yes, you have. <laughs> you sleep in it, you wear it because it's nice and comfy. You've had it for years. It's just a shame I haven't got it here right now to show everybody. You see, I haven't got it. Because Paul Daniels is wearing it. Take a look at this! <laughs> Get it back to you at the end of the show. But, but she's not the only one, Jane, ladies and gentlemen, because we also know that you, Brian Beckett, <laughs> you've got something that you love as well. Brian here, let me tell you, everybody, Brian has got a little toy teddy bear called Bruno. <laughs> and am I right in thinking you dress it up with little outfits? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wonder what it's wearing. You haven't got it today, have you? You haven't, you haven't got no, it with you? it's at home. It's a good job we've got it with us. <laughs> He's good now, everyone! <laughs> look! Oh, look at that! Here you are. What do you, um... What do you call this outfit? Just casual. Yeah, just a casual teddy bear on the town. <laughs> That's lovely. That's really nice. What a weirdo! <laughs> but he's not the only one. Because we also know that you... Richard White, <laughs> you've got something that you love as well, haven't you? Yeah. What I is it? I love my girlfriend, Louise. Oh, isn't that nice? Look, she's girlfriend, Louise. How long have you been together? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Is this Louise here? Yeah. Better be safe, eh? Better be safe. <laughs> Where did you meet? Uh, in a nightclub in Kent. Oh, isn't that romantic? <laughs> but now you're here. You're here on telly, on live television. Anything you'd like to say, Louise? Yeah, I want to know if you'll marry me. <laughs> What do you say, Louise? Yes. Yeah! Well done. Well done, Rick. Congratulations to the pair of you, and well done, Richard. You've given Louise a lovely surprise there. But you didn't know this, Richard. Oh, We've got a lovely <laughs> surprise for the pair of you. Come with us as we play Wedding Day. <laughs> Congratulations and welcome to wedding days. Now, you two have just agreed to spend the rest of your lives together. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Now, now, when you get married, I, I'll give you a few tips. Take a few tips from me. What? When do you get married? <laughs> you, gain, you gain a lot of things. You gain a partner, you gain a soulmate, and you also gain something else. In-laws. <laughs> Yes, and new friends. Yeah, and new friends. New friends. Yes. Yeah, I'm yeah. so dead. Yes, <laughs> and new friends. <laughs> and then because you both gained a new set of friends and family, we thought you should know exactly what they all think of you. So this week, oh. we filmed them giving their opinion of you two. Yes. We asked them, we asked them lots and lots of questions, and they gave us very honest answers. And we know they gave us honest answers because we hypnotised them. <laughs> Have a look at this. OK, if everyone can clasp their hands together. There are heavy books yeah. resting on those hands. Sleep, sleep, hands down. And they told us everything. Mm -hmm. And if you can <laughs> guess their answers, then you could win some incredible prizes from the takeaway wedding list. Now, Louise, your first question is for you, and you're playing to win this. A lovely set of saucepans. <laughs> we asked Richard's best friend, Steve, if he thought you were attractive. 
Did he say... <laughs> did he say, A, I don't look at Louise in that way, she's my best mate's girlfriend? Did he say, B, that's none of my business, I'm a married man? Or did he say, C, something else? God. <laughs> what do you think? Say... Oh. Say something else. Let's find out. I thought she was very attractive. <laughs> I wouldn't say no. I'm going to go from one to ten. What score would you give Louise? A seven. <laughs> seven out of ten. Well done. Oh, you won the That's good. Well done, you've won the saucepans. Well Lovely. done. Okay, Richard, it's over to you. It's your turn now, and you're playing to win this luxury set of bed linen. <laughs> okay, listen up then. We spoke to Louise's friend Mitch and asked for her reaction when she found out you two were dating. Did she say A, Louise has landed on her feet with this guy? <laughs> B, Louise has found her perfect match. Or C, something else. I hope it's A, but C. C, C? Let's take a look. Well, the, she must have had her beer goggles on when she met him. <laughs> and then I sort of changed that and said, really, she must have had a wine bottle on each eye. <laughs> yes, it was C, something else. Well done, you won the bed, Lenin. Good. Two out of two, very good. Back to you, Louise, and your plane to win this. A lovely dinner service. There it is. <laughs> now, this time we're going to hear from both families, and we asked them what Louise's worst habit was. And now, did they say A, she's always late? Did they say B, she's very forgetful? Or did they say C, something else? Oh, let's say something else. C, <laughs> <laughs> something else. Let's have a look. She snores. <laughs> <laughs> It's louder than that, though. I think the house only moves. <laughs> she smells like a man. Congratulations, you won the saucepan! The bed linen and the dinner suit. That's right, you've got all that. What more could any couple want for their wedding? Well, we thought, how about this? You could do with a seven night honeymoon to the toothbrush. Seven nights in Mauritius. So that could be your honeymoon. It really does look lovely there. And that could be yours if you answer all the questions correctly in the wedding day's observation round. Now, all you two have got to do is carefully watch this footage, then answer three questions. Are you ready? Yeah. Watch yeah. carefully. Here goes. Five, step four, starting to feel three. Does Louise have any bad habits? She'll be out and she'll say, listen, I'm going to burp. And then she has to do it in front of everybody. So what kind of girls did Richard go for before Louise? There were a few. A few shoppers. <laughs> there was one girl actually looked like a pig. <laughs> and Louise was actually shaped like a pig. Twice as big as two, heavier and one. one. Who's better looking, Ant, Deck, or Richard? <laughs> I'm going to say, uh, Richard. You're going to feel stuck to the chair. Wide awake. Oh, I'm cold out. Sleep, 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 sleep. What did you think when you first met Louise? How would you describe her? As a determined little minx. Is Richard a good dancer? Similar to of a spaghetti man. <laughs> So, Karen, what do you think of Richard's dress sense? <laughs> he hasn't got one! <laughs> oh, right. There you go. Hope you're paying attention. Nice and quiet, everybody. Here we go. And this time the questions are about both of you, so you can answer together. Question one. Who described Louise as a determined little minx? Richard's dad. My dad, yeah. Richard's dad Ray is correct. Question number two. Who said Louise has a habit of burping in public? My best friend, Mitch. Yes, your best friend, Mitch. And question three. For the holiday, who said Richard's ex looked like a pig? Your Richard's best, best friend. mate, Steve. Yes, congratulations for the holiday! Wow, brilliant. So that's good. And what's nice 
What's really nice is now everything is out in the open. And now that it is out in the open, I think there are a few people that you...